You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about Caitlin Clark. Last night was her much anticipated debut. We sat down as a family and watched this game. I watched an entire WNBA game. Hell has frozen over, in fact. It's unbelievable. I could not even believe it while it was happening. Now, this morning, we've got a legion of haters out there that are trying to take victory laps on Caitlin Clark, despite the fact that she dropped 20 points in three what was three quarters. She got in foul trouble very early, and I was really disappointed in how the coaching staff got her set up for open looks because essentially they didn't. There was not many screens run to try to get her open looks, etc. And she showed last night she could score a lot of points really fast. But nonetheless, they got blew out. And this was against one of the best teams uh, defensively in all of the WNBA. And in fact, um, we can just take a look very quickly as we just glance over, uh, this was last year's defensive stats, and the Connecticut Sun were the third best defensive team in the WNBA. By the way, Caitlin Clark dropped 20 points. In case you're wondering, if you average 20 points in the WNBA, you're in the top six in scoring in the entire league. But people are really looking at the 10 turnovers, and you can tell there were some nerves, and we're still talking about The first game she's ever played. So, uh, it's funny. People are taking victory laps. But nonetheless, she made comments. Um, So, this is what we're looking at. Quote, I'm disappointed. Nobody likes to lose. But I don't think you can beat yourself up too much about one game. I don't think that's going to help this team. Just learn from it and move on. The game had the bustle and energy of a WNBA Finals matchup. Fans donning sun, fever, and even Iowa gear lined up to get into the arena more than two and a half hours before the trip. The sun handed out more than 170 media credentials with ESPN's WNBA countdown desk stationed near the fever bench and overflow media coming from near and far situated the skybox. The crowd of 8,910 marked the Suns' first home opener sellout since 2003 in their inaugural game in Connecticut. Yeah, I did a video on that yesterday morning. This was their first home opener sellout in 21 years. I mean, I couldn't couldn't even believe it. Um, I will say this, man, the Sun had a couple of defense. They put a couple of the best defensive players in the league on her, and and you could tell it. I mean, you could tell it. They had her wrapped up pretty good last night uh, during this game. This was her her stat line. Bleacher Report put it out. 20 points, 3 assists, and everybody's taking a victory lap over 10 turnovers. And that's not a great look. But again, it's the first game. And I was shocked by how little... They got her opened up for looks last night. Just a couple of shots we're going to see right here. Um, And let me just turn this down. But there's a three. There's no doubt about this. If she can get a look, she can knock down and score a lot of points. What I think she's going to have to do, especially in light of, you know, the fouls and the turnovers, she's going to have to drive into the lane, drive to the basket, and she's going to have to do an, a reverse effect on, on what they did to her. Essentially, she's got to get the other team with a quick couple of fouls so they can back off of her and get those defenders to back off of her so she can get some open looks. And, look, the coach has got to do something to get her some open looks as well. I mean, that's got to happen. Uh uh, Dijon uh, Carrington played some great defense on her. Four, fourth year guard sta- out of Stanford and Baylor. She drew the primary d- assignment and she locked down Caitlin for a lot of the game. When she went out, Caitlin started knocking them down. 
Carrington held Clark to 2 of 10 shooting and forced 8 turnovers when she was the primary defender. Thomas, a perennial defensive player of the year contender, bothered Clark at times too and drew several fouls on the rookie. I mean, this, quote, this is what we expect from her, Suns Code Stephanie White said of Carrington. The growth from her to be able to come into the starting lineup and be able to understand expectation and be able to do it consistently is the challenge, and she did it here tonight. There's no doubt they were double and triple teaming Caitlin Clark last night, which is something she's going to face, but the defensive competition isn't going to be nearly what it was last night. She was facing one of the top three defensive teams in the league. Now, Caitlin Clark haters... They're taking a victory lap this morning, which is wild considering she dropped 20 points. In her debut, she dropped 20 points, and she dropped 20 points in three quarters. Basically, she went scoreless in the first quarter and then scored 20 in the last three. Does that say 10 turnovers? 10 turnovers, bro. Yeah, I mean, you're going to see that. Did you say 10 turnovers? First career double-double, my goat. 92-71 <laughs> to 71 is not falling short, little brother. No, no, it's... I don't think this is a great team. I don't. The overall team is not great. Ten turnovers, question mark. Still a double-double. <laughs> Fall short, they got blown out. Ten turnovers is crazy. Ten turnovers, damn. A nice double-double. The future is bright. Yikes. That's really bad. Ten turnovers. Fall short. Yeah, I mean, that's... There's getting a lot of fall short in there. Three assists, ten toner, turnovers, and a loss. Ten turnovers. That's insane. Not good. Ten turnovers. Blowout loss. Not sure it's just falling short. Loss by 20. Fell short. That's a blowout. Ten turnovers is crazy. Ten turnovers. Showing the turnovers is nasty business. Look, you got to be fair. It is what it is. Uh, it's not the preseason. This was the first official game. Ten turnovers with 33% from the field. Laughing. They didn't fall short. They got blown out. I mean, crazy. As a rookie on a terrible team with only two weeks of training camp, I know Diana Tarasi, Tarasi, uh, Diana Tarasi watching closely to see if she's going to eat her words or not. Uh, it's much too early. Give her a pass on the turnovers? No, I mean, there's still turnovers, but it was her first game against a very good defensive team. Ten turnovers, ten turnovers. So you're getting a lot of that. Ten turnovers in the first game as a rookie happens. Allen Iverson had mad turnovers in his games his rookie season. He was a turnover machine. I mean, seriously, a turnover machine, Allen Iverson. By the way, somebody posted... Some of the best first games ever. And scoring-wise, she was right there with LeBron, KD, Michael Jordan. But let's stop comparing the women uh, to the men, all right? The men, uh, they're playing a different game, and it is what it is. Uh, So, I mean, they had to do a double take. A lot of people trying to do victory laps on the turnovers. Ten turnovers, lost by 21. Uh, A lot of people making the joke that she had a double-double. Okay. It's understandable. I mean, you're going to get some people that are going to take some victory laps. Uh, This girl is going to score a ton of points. And she's going to do it very quickly. They've got to do a better job of getting her some open looks. I kept thinking, are they going to try to actually scheme up some looks for her? Yeah, it, it didn't happen. She had to create on her own. And she had to get open on her own, and she still made some shots last night that, that made you your jaw drop. 20 points in a, in, a, in a debut in professional basketball, WNBA? The 10 turn, turnovers look bad, but, I mean, 20 points for a team that you can tell is not ready for prime time yet. But they might be soon. I mean, serious. Uh, Boston's got some... some Real talent on this team as well. Tell me what you think. Caitlin Clark, all the haters are trying to do a victory lap over turnovers today. Against one of the best defensive teams in the league, what is she going to do to the rest of the league? 
How quickly is it going to be before she drops, you know, a 37 and 6 line on us that ends up being a norm? That's going to be interesting. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.